Hello everyone! As you can see, today we're going to be doing math. And we're doing, of course, the hardest math possible. We're adding zeros together. Well, actually we'll be adding binary together at the end of the video, but let's get into it. Today we're going to be talking about adders. Half adders, full adders, what are they? Well, they are means for us to be able to do mathematics in binary by just using switches, basically and uh, voltage sources. So if you have uh, a voltage source there, it would be a one. If there's no voltage, it's a zero. Now, you, as you know, we'll start out with decimal. If you take like the number 12 and the number, I don't know, 10, and you add these two together, two plus zero would give us a two, a one and a one would give us a two, so we end up with 22. Um, that, that's straightforward, that's easy. Now, what happens though if we have like 19 and 11? We know that nine plus one gives us 10, so we have to carry a one. I'm gonna copy this over. This, this tool is not really designed for uh, for doing math like this, but it works. It, it gets us through. Um, and now one, one, and one added together give us a three. Now, why did we just do what we just did? If you were used to working with decimal, it's just force of nature. You haven't actually thought about this probably in a while, but zero through nine, we have a single character that represents that number. Uh, zero is a circle, one's a line, nine's this little spiral thing. But the number 10 does not have one character to represent what a 10 is. So what we do is we actually move over a placeholder and we add one and we have a zero. Now binary has something similar. So I'm going to just set our carry to zero, drag it off in a space. We won't need this immediately. So uh, very, very hard math. But if we start with one, one plus zero gives us one. Great. Now one plus one, as you know, gives us two, but in binary, there's only ones and zeros. So the circle is zero, this line is one, but there is not a symbol to represent the number two because it's binary it's base two just like decimal is base 10 whatever the base is there's not a way to represent that with one character so what we need to do is we need to carry a one we have one zero is two in binary so one and one will give us a zero but we carry a one and then one zero zero gives us a one. All right, so we have just done math here. We can see that this is the way that binary does math. Now this is all very important because we're about to show it in circuits. I just did a quick Google search and it looks like geeks for geeks have this pretty little picture. I found it on Google images, it works. And then here we have through buildelectroniccircuits.com another one. And this is a full adder. We can see that half adder is only two logic gates. There's a sum and a carry. And we can see that on this one, we have two half adders put together to make a full adder. So this is what we're going to be looking at. And let's get into it. Let's start out with our half adder. So um, I'm going to do it a little bit of a different orientation than the pictures. The way I'm going to do it is we're going to have a number across the top here and a number across the bottom, and that's going to be like a binary number. So let's, let's give us a voltage line here. And let's run a wire all the way to the end where we're going to draw our circuit. We're going to put a switch in. And then I'm going to 
put a wire down here and we'll put a switch in here and then just so that we can kind of see what's eventually going to happen let's put another switch in here oh that's a wire and if you're wondering what this program is this is the false ad circuit simulator I have a video on it if you uh, if you're curious about how this program works and um, I have a video of why I think you should use it so you can check that out and um, see what you think about it it's free so no no cost to experiment with it and I've had good success with it so this is gonna be one number and this will be the other number so they're slightly offset but so the simulate the example you see here we have um, one and one zero and zero we're gonna ignore the carry for now this is a one a one a zero and a zero so just for completion perfectionist state this would be zero zero and this would be zero one so I hope you can kind of see what I'm doing here all right let's draw on some wires and we're going to need to start to build our half adder so we're gonna use an exclusive or if you don't recognize this symbol I do have a video on digital logic gates and you can check that out it will help explain what these funny little symbols are we're gonna add an and to this as well and now we need to include uh, wires going to both both of these have wires going to them and again this is called a half adder now if we look at this picture the nice thing about this picture is it says this is sum and this is carry so the exclusive or is going to be our sum so let's play around with that we know that if we have zero and zero we should get a zero this is what we're expecting and that's there's no voltage there excuse me it's not green if we make the top number a one such as this we should get a one on the bottom and we do there's voltage there now if we flip-flop these two I know this is really redundant but but I, I just gotta show gotta show you that it works so we're gonna do it if I make this a one and I make this a zero again we have a one but now this is where it starts to get a little bit more mysterious what happens when we have two ones because as you will recall this one should become a zero and then this carrying magic thing happens well oh look at that that is a zero and look at this has power so this is our carry as pointed out in this picture here so this half adder works and it allows us to be able to add two binary digits together two bits together and to give us an outcome a sum and a carry now the carry obviously is going to come into play we can just drop down this wire all the way down to the bottom this is our result of what we care about but there's a little bit more we need to do with the carry because when we put a half adder into this next circuit here we actually care about the carry so let's do that let's bring down these wires line this up a little better okay oh, this isn't spaced as well as I would like but we'll make it work so 
So these are not coupled together in any way. So if I work on these, you can see it has the same type of results that we saw with the other one. There is, if we have a one and a one, a one and a one, we get a zero and we get a zero over here and both of these have a carry, but we're not actually adding the carry in. So we need to add the carry in. So let's do that next. What we need is yet another half adder. And we can see that in this picture. There's two half adders. Then there's also this OR gate, which I've seen as an exclusive OR. And I want to remember to tell you guys about that, why you would potentially use an exclusive OR instead of an OR. But anyway, back to the subject at hand, two half adders. So let's do that. Let's take a half adder and another half adder. I'm going to offset them slightly because you'll notice in the picture that the output from the X or goes into the next half adder along with the carry in goes into it. But this and which is the carry out it it's on its own little circuit. We'll deal with that a little bit. So let's just connect this. So we have our carry. This goes to both of these guys. And then this goes to the other ones. And let's just see what we have so far. So we have this example here. One and one should give us a zero and then the one carries and one plus zero and zero gives us a one. And if we look at our output, that is indeed what we are getting. You can see that we have 0, 1, 0, 1. It comes in. This is an exclusive OR. So since it's both of these, it gives us a 0. Then the carry is lit up. And the carry connects with uh, the 0 and 0 here together give us a 0. And it's exclusive OR, so it gives us an R1. It gives us our result. So that's great, um, but we did say we needed to combine these. In this example, it doesn't really look like it's that pertinent, but it should be. So let's see what happens here. If we put a 1-1-1-1, one, 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 for example. Now if we do this, and let's actually do the math, we, 1 and 1 gives us a 0, carry a 1, 1-1-1, one, one and one, well, one and one give us a zero again, but we need to add the third one in, which gives us another one, but we need to carry another one. Wow, isn't that confusing? Well, not really, it's not that bad. One and one, zero, one, and there's a carry. Yep, so we have like two carries here, and this is why you or them, because if this one or this one are lit up, we want to be able to represent that we have a carry. So we're going to use an OR gate like they said. And there we go. This is our carry out. In this case, C out, carry out. And what we've done is we've gotten a, a 1 and a 1 give us a 0, but it does carry. So the carry comes in to this circuit. And what we're doing is using that carry, incorporating into the math, and then we're generating another carry and we're carrying that out. Now I've also seen this as an exclusive OR. And the reason for that is you will never have this one and this one on at the same time. And I think sometimes people choose an exclusive OR because when you buy a circuit uh, or uh, an integrated circuit, a chip, 
it will have ands on it and all it'll be all ands or it'll be all ors or all exclusive ors so i think sometimes people actually use an exclusive or here not because of the exclusivity of it the fact that it's it has to be an or and that and doesn't apply in that case but because of oh I'm, I'm drawing all sorts of madness here oh boy oh boy drag this here but because if right now with this circuit if you were to buy an integrated circuit with four AND gates and four exclusive OR gates you would have one two three four exclusive OR gates and one two three exclusive or not exclusive AND there is no such thing and three AND gates so you would have two integrated circuit chips that you can buy off of the internet to do this if this was an OR rather than an exclusive OR. You would need an exclusive OR chip, an AND chip, and an OR chip. That's a total of three chips rather than two. So obviously that's uh, a th like half as much more money. Um, so I think that that's why people will use exclusive ORs um, to uh, deal with this, these two carries getting merged together. Um, into that so I did remember to talk about the exclusive or thing but besides that we now have a circuit that can add two numbers together that each contain two bits of data now we can take basically this entire excuse me uh, entire sub circuit here and if we wanted to continue we could continue where we would essentially do this Ooh, not quite that not quite that like this and drag these down and carry this up to here put a switch in there and bring this up to here put another switch in there and now what we have is this would handle um, three bit numbers and if we did it again, we'd have four bit numbers, so an entire nibble. And if we duplicated that, so there's a total of eight, we would handle an entire byte. So this is how you would add two bytes of data together, is by taking these circuits and continuing to um, incorporate them with one another. I'm not going to show that because I think you can picture that. And um, this video is long enough for full adders and half adders. I hope you did find this video educational and you enjoyed it and please do consider subscribing it does help the channel and we'd look forward to seeing you in a future video.